today I would like to try quite a magical effect um, for a really special sky. It's kind of a dancing thing that happens um, called the Northern Lights. Instead of just, uh, say, a black sky, I like this rich blue. It just, uh, it just has enough of its own glow, I think. So we're going to cover most of the board. And of course, the more you kind of play with the clay, which is fun anyway, the softer it gets and the easier it is to work. Now, I've almost filled my whole picture with this dark blue, but I'm going to add a little bit of a lighter blue. This happens at night, but the sun may have gone down a while ago. There's still a little bit of a glow on the horizon, and I think that helps with that sort of magical feeling that we want to have with the northern lights. Northern lights can be white. Sometimes there's a beautiful pink color, but one of the main colors is this really exciting kind of electric green. The lights can take a lot of shapes, but one of the most recognizable is sort of, it looks like a curtain of light. You can just kind of play with it before you stick it down. I'm going to start making those sheets of light and we just, we just start spreading up from that snake shape and we can smooth it down a little bit. We can play with it, but there's, there's one sheet of Northern Lights. Let's go crazy. Let's make it a really good night. We'll add a couple more. Just let that color shoot up and we'll add one more because three is kind of a nice number. Again, it might run up into the other one. Now we're going to make this even a more spectacular. We're going to add some of that bright purpley color that can also appear with the green. We'll press it down and again, just kind of finger paint it up. It's really abstract. You don't have to worry too hard about the shapes. Now these Northern Lights are so beautiful. I think I would like to set a little bit of a scene. So I think first I'm going to add a few trees and I'm just going to sketch them in. So first I'm taking these tree trunks and then the branches and needles on these trees are uh, just very simple. And you can just vary the shape of these little blobs as you go up. And you can even leave some gaps where we just see the trunk. And now they start to look a little bit like one of those northern forests. Now these lights should be enjoyed by someone. So I'm going to make a line where maybe their body is and a guess as to about the size of their head. They're going to be right in the middle of the picture. That's why I didn't put any trees there. To make the picture feel like night, we don't want to see too many bright colors. I want the brightest thing to be those northern lights. So the person is going to be wearing sort of a dark color. And I've just outlined again the shape of their shoulders and their nice thick parka. And I've mixed uh, the skin color there's their head is about that, about that size. So on this person, I'm going to make two little dots just to sort of guess where their eyes are going to be. And then their nose goes underneath and their mouth will be about there. This is just a rough shape and I'm going to put it right where that nose goes, kind of a drop shape. And then we can just blend it a little bit to join the face. There's the white part of the eye, right where that dot was. And again, it's sort of a drop shape. The person's going to be looking up, of course, because look at what's happening up above. And now I'm going to take a tiny, tiny little bit of black and we're going to position that near the top of the eye. That's going to make the person looking up. Sometimes I use a pencil or something just to kind of poke it in position. So I took some of their skin color and I added a little bit more red to it because their cheeks are rosy because it's very cold. Just a little pancake of a little darker pink color. So I'm going to use something very sharp. I'm going to use a pin to make a smile. And maybe they have some hair and I'm just using some black. We don't need to make too much hair because, of course, this person is going to have the hood of their parka up. I've mixed a light blue 
because I want the white fur of the parka to look like it's nighttime. And at nighttime, sometimes white things look blue. The snow will look blue. And it's just going to enhance the magical effect. And again, before you absolutely put it down, you can shape it a little bit with your hands. And this is where the picture really starts to come to life when you add these textures. And I'm just using a pencil to create the feeling of that fur parka. This is what I love is that in the beginning it really looks kind of like nothing at all. And then bit by bit as you add more and more details, the picture becomes exciting. I'm going to bring their arm up. This is another piece of the parka color. And of course they're going to be wearing mittens. Here we're going to add a little bit, just a tiny bit of a bright color. And we always have to think for a minute which way their thumb goes. There's a little sausage that's going to be their thumb. And then you can see it's kind of messy where it joins, but of course they have fur around the edge of their sleeve too. So that tidies up the joint. And now we just add a little fur texture again to their sleeve. And just to add a bit of sparkle, let's add a few little bits of white. So there we have a, a person out on a beautiful clear night in the cold, cold north enjoying the, the northern lights.